Welcome back to session number two. Let's put everything aside and let's focus on you. Well, happy Friday. Thank you all again for joining me for a second session. We'll kind of pick off from what we learned on the first week. So we'll, you know, we'll gradually progress, right? So we'll, we'll continue to take it slow. You know, this is only a 30 minute session, so there's not a whole lot we can do, but we can definitely get a lot of benefit from it as well. So let's come to a child's pose when we start today. So in your child's pose, you're going to bring your knees towards the edges of your mat. So your knees are nice and wide and you're going to sit your tailbone down towards your heels. Reach your hands forward and rest your forehead down onto the mat. And just breathe here. Settle in. Find some presence. Just integrate from the world around you. Just down into your mat here. Get your spine nice and long. So reach forward and ground down to your heels. And start to be in tune with your breath here. So be in tune, feel your breath. This practice is all about our breath. On your inhale, come all the way up to your hands and knees. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, hips over knees. All right, and let's round our spine up to the sky. Tuck the chin. Press through the mat. Find that nice arch. We'll take five breaths. Okay, two more. On your inhale, round your spine down. Pull your chest forward. Round your spine down and point your tailbone up to the sky. Again, five breaths, feel just the energy down through the spine, opening up. Two more breaths. Really hear your breath, right? Wanna feel and hear your breath. On your exhale again, let's round the spine up. Take your left knee to your forehead. High as you can, round your spine, lift the knee up, and hold. We got three, two, and one. On your inhale, extend your knee back. Point your toe, lift your chest up. Breathe here for three, two, and one. Relax the knee down. Shake out the hips. Getting nice and warm. Okay, let's go again. Other side. So round the spine up. Press through the mat. Lift your right knee up. Tuck the chin. Fold down. Breathe here. Three, four, two, and one. Inhale, extend the knee, point the toe back. Lift the leg up high as you can. Press the chest forward. Four, three, four, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, let's warm the wrists up. So you're gonna bring your palms to face forward. All right, and you're just gonna reach and twist. And every time you reach, you're gonna engage your wrist extensors and flexors and reach a little bit farther. So now I'm fully extended and I'll reverse my hands back. So I'm gonna press out. You want to feel all through your wrist and through your forearms. 
Okay, we'll go out to the sides. So reach out and twist. Engage, really feel everything, right? Really extend those fingers nice and wide. Okay, and let's reverse. Out, press out. And keep the breath, right? Practice is all about breathing. Let's go up now. So reach up, keep the elbows in. And really squeeze, 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 right? Feel that tension throughout the wrists. Getting it nice and warm, ready to move. And now we'll go down. Last one, reach down. And then we'll come back up, push up. All right, feeling great, shake it out. Let's get ready for a downward facing dog. So come back to your hands and knees. Ensure your index fingers are facing 12 o'clock. Pinky fingers are about at the edge of your mat. Okay, let's tuck your toes and lift the hips up. So if you have tight hamstrings, you can always keep your knees bent here, like so, to extend the spine. This posture, downward facing dog, is all about finding length in the spine. So get your tailbone up nice and high. And you can slowly work, right, to extend the knees, draw the heels down. Continue to breathe, take deep breaths, audible breaths. Really press the chest towards your feet. Lift the hips up high. Okay, let's step the feet to touch. And lift your right leg up, straight up to the sky for three-legged dog. So get that foot up nice and high. Keep pressing the chest. Ground down through your knuckles. And lift it up high. On the exhale, bend the knee and roll your hip open. And continue to keep your shoulders nice and square. Here we go for three, two, and one. Inhale, back up, three-legged dog. And let's bring it back down. Okay, you can take a breather if you need to. Shake it out. Do what feels good in your body. Be in tune, right? This practice is all about you and your breath. So at any time you feel you need to rest or make any modifications, I encourage you. Okay, let's come back up. Three-legged dog. Lift that left leg up this time. Nice and high. Keep breathing. On your exhale, bend your knee. Roll the hip open. Okay, so you stack your left hip over the right hip. Maybe point your toe towards your right shoulder. Here we go for three, two, and one. Let's step forward. Ragdoll posture. So we'll grab our opposite elbows. Bend your knees so you glue your ribs to your thighs. And just shake it out. Hang loose. Let it go. And just feel, be in tune, connect, feel the heart, shake it out, releasing the lower back here, right? All right, slowly release, walk your feet to touch, and slowly come up to a standing position. So stand nice and tall and really squeeze your feet together. So hug everything in. Okay, and we're going to work on this posture right here, standing posture. All right, so let's lift your toes up off the mat, spread them nice and wide, and then ground them down onto the mat. 
Okay, let's hug your shins together, your thighs together. Keep your knees slightly bent. All right, so you want to flow like water, so we can always keep our joints slightly bent. We're going to lift the front of our pelvis up and, and gently tuck the tailbone down so that you get your core engagement. So you're hugging your belly up and in back to the spine. You're going to draw your upper ribs in, take your shoulders slightly back. So this is perfect posture and you can shine your palms out and really feel integrated here, right? You feel as one piece so you can move in one motion. So I encourage you to keep this, all of this engagement as we practice today. All right, take a deep breath in, reach up to the sky. On your exhale, take a back bend. So you're gonna go back, reach back, keep your ears and your biceps aligned. Okay, we got three, two, and one. On the exhale, come forward, fold forward. On your inhale, take a halfway lift so that you have a flat spine. So pull the crown of the head forward and let's slowly bend the knees. Let's step back to a high plank. Okay, high plank. Stack your shoulders over wrists. All right, nice long neck. Okay, strong core. You can always modify. If this is too intense, you can always modify with the knees down. So whenever you need to, you can just come down onto your knees. All right, so let's keep those hips up nice and high. Engage the legs, squeeze your quad muscles, squeeze your core, hug everything in. All right, let's slowly shift forward so your shoulders are in front of your hands and slowly lower down, bend your elbows straight back. And we're gonna bring our chest to the floor, ground down the tops of your feet. Inhale, lift your chest up. Hug your shoulder blades back. Low cobra, breathe here. We got three, two, and one. On your exhale, fold down, tuck your toes, press back up, high plank. Downward facing dog, press your chest back. Keep your legs nice and engaged, hug your core in. Find that external rotation with your shoulders. Okay, continue to breathe. Okay, on your inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, bend your knees. Look forward and you can step or take a hop forward. Okay, come to, your, come to your hands. Take your halfway lift. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, tuck the chin, fold down. Inhale, reach up all the way up. Big breath in. Exhale, swan dive down, fold back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, step back, high plank. All right, we're going to build some heat, build some power and strength in the body. Okay, second option, let's bend your knees and let's bend your elbows straight back. Okay, and then on the inhale, lift your chest up. So first time we did low cobra, now we're on a high cobra, we're nice and high, lifting our chest up. You can gaze forward or even up to feel that nice back bend. Okay, ensure to hug your shoulders back. Okay, shoulders stacked right over the wrists. Breathe here, four, three, four, two, and one. Release, come back to hands and knees, and we'll press right back up. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and open mouth. Exhale it out. <sighs> T 
you need a fine length here in your downward facing dog. Okay, on your inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, step, or hop. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale it out. Inhale, reach up. Grow nice and tall. On your exhale, squeeze your legs together. Chair pose, sit your tailbone down nice and low. Reach your hands up, lift your chest up. Okay, and lift your, your uh, toes off the mat so that you got about 80% of your weight in your heel. All right, so lift up, sit down low. Hold it, feel it, here we go for three, two, and one. Exhale, fold down. Good, halfway lift, flat back, and let's step back, high plank. Okay, so your option, this is your flow, your practice. You can come to a low cobra, or you can drop your knees, okay? Or you can just lower down to a low plank. Okay, flip the tops of your feet. Inhale, lift your chest, hang your torso forward. Okay, and this is upward facing dog. Again, feel that back engagement. Breathe here for three, two, and one. Downward facing dog. Walk it out. Maybe move your hips from side to side. Feeling nice and loose, nice and warm. All right, it's gonna prepare us for our next posture. So you're gonna step your right foot forward towards your right thumb. Ground down your back heel. Ensure your heels are in one straight line. Okay, reach forward first. And on your inhale, come all the way up. So warrior one. So you're lunging low, so you stack your right knee over your ankle. Keep your back foot grounded, so you have equal weight in both feet. Okay, reach up nice and tall. You can even press your palms together, or even hook the thumbs. And reach up. Okay, feel that leg strength, feel that power and work to square your hips to the front. So I'm gonna pull my right hip back and my left hip forward. Continuing to breathe for three, stick with it. Four, two, and one. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, bring your hands back down to the mat. Step back and let's rinse it out. So low cobra, high cobra, or upward facing dog, your choice. Deep breath in, one breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Sigh it out. Breathe it out. That's how we cleanse the body, by our breath and our movement, right? It's a practice of cleansing, rejuvenating, energizing. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the feeling. Okay, let's get the other side. Step your left foot towards your left thumb. Ground down the back heel. Heels are in one straight line. Reach forward. Inhale up. Lunge down. Stack the knee over ankle. Rotate your hip to the front. Lunge a little deeper, okay? Try to work that thigh parallel to the mat. Gaze forward or up. Maybe press the palms to get a little bit more intense. Okay, continue to breathe. We got five breaths. Here we go for five, four, three, two, and one, nice job. High to low, let's go, high plank. 
your vinyasa, your flow. Inhale up. Exhale back. Down dog. Lengthen it out. Great job, guys. Stick with it. All right. Inhale, lift the heels. Bend the knees. Step, pop, or float. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, fold down. Chair pose. Utkatasana. Sit down low. Squeeze the knees together. Lift the chest up. Okay, last chair pose. Okay, really feel that leg engagement. Squeeze everything into the midline. Okay, let's sit a little lower for three, two, and one. Exhale, fold down. Breathe it out. Okay, let's come all the way back up to mountain pose. And just shake it out. Hopefully the heart is pumping, feeling our hearts. All right, how are we doing on time? Whew, all right, I was about 20 minutes already. Time flies by. All right, so hopefully you got a little sweat going, some breath. We'll do a quick balancing posture. Let's work on our dancer pose. So our dancer, let's grab the inside of your left foot. All right, and squeeze your knees together. So keep the knees together. Ensure your hand is rotated outward as you grab the inside of your foot. It can be the top of the foot. Okay, I'm gonna back up here. And slowly reach your hand up and kick back, straight back up. Okay, keep your chest up, spine nice and straight. So work your kick first, and then slowly start to hinge forward as you reach straight forward ahead of you, steady gaze in front, and you're working to kick your leg straight up. So you're pulling up and reaching forward. Okay, here we go for three, four, two. Kick a little higher. And one. Come all the way back up and let's switch sides. Right into it. Lift the left hand up. Grab the inside of your right foot. Keep your knees together. And work your kick. Kick, kick, kick. Lift up. And then start to hinge forward. Keep a steady gaze. That'll help you balance. All right. So reach, reach, reach. And kick up. Steady gaze. Keep the core nice and tight. Here we go. Three, four, two, and one. Inhale back up. Slowly release. Shake it out. All right, let's come down onto our sit bones. Let's get some core in. All right, before we end, some core strength. Let's come back into our boat that we did last week. So shins parallel to the mat. You can find behind your knees. All right, keep your chest up and lifted. Okay, and then you can also let go here. And you can work to extend both knees. Okay, high boat. Just see how long you can hold this. Squeeze the legs together. Keep the core engaged. Stand nice and tall with the chest, right? Lift the chest, hug the shoulder blades back. Here we go, stick with it. We got five, four, three, two and one slowly release all right we got one more set stick with it here we go right back into it okay high boat okay wherever your hands are keep them there okay we got three 
two. And now let's bring your hands to your heart center. Let's add a twist. Okay, on the exhale, twist, twist, inhale, twist. Okay, just move and twist, keep your balance. Okay, so exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. All right, so inhale, back to center, exhale, twist. Okay, let's go, we got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo, good job. You guys are lucky most of you can't, I can't see you. <laughs> All right, keep the legs together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold down, reach for your toes. Okay, if you can find your big toes with your peace fingers, you can do that. Or you can just reach outside your feet. Okay, and let's take a deep breath in, lengthen the spine here. And then exhale, tuck the chin, fold down. And pull your head towards your feet. So this is all about releasing the back here. So releasing the back, folding down. Okay, continue to breathe, stick with it, stay with it. Keep continuing to fold down. Okay, let me check the time here real quick. All right, we got a couple more minutes. Continue to breathe, release into it. All right, quick inversion. Here we go, so we're gonna come down onto our backs and lift the hips up high as you can. You can support your lower back. Okay, you can stay right here. This is called Viparita Karani, it's just legs straight up the wall. All right, so you have a nice inversion. Your hips are higher than your heart. And you can slowly work if you feel comfortable and this is in your practice. You can come all the way up into your shoulder stand. Okay, so get your feet. Imagine someone pulling your feet straight up to the sky. You can get nice and tall. And just breathe here, relax, cooling the body down, giving the heart a break. Gently start to make your feet slowly come over your head as close as you can down towards the floor. Okay, keep that neck nice and straight and slowly bend the knees. Bring your, bring your knees towards your ears. You can grab opposite elbows and release down. All right, let's slowly make our way Back down, lower the hips, nice and slow. Move into our happy baby. So you're gonna grab the tops of your feet and pull your knees down to the floor. And really key here is to ground down your tailbone. All right, so that right at the base of your spine, you wanna pull down so that your back is nice and flat. Continue to press your feet down, knees down. A nice deep hip opener here. As we enter practice, take one final nice stretch. Just rock from side to side. Enjoy it. Okay, let's all take a deep breath in. Exhale, ha, sigh it out. We've arrived. Let's take our final posture. So I can't see you all, but let's come into our Shavasana. Okay, release the hands, release the feet down. 
and just melt into your mat. This is probably the most beneficial part of our practice here is where we can lie in stillness, listen to our thoughts and don't attach any judgment to them and just let them come up, let them go and just feel, right? Feel whatever sensations that you can feel. Just welcome it in and enjoy it. It should be should be a great feeling, right? This is this is my favorite part of practice. So when I can just sink in and let everything go and just be, be in stillness. And just connect, right? Connect with with that amazing being that's deep down inside in all of us. All right, so I'd encourage you all to stay here, continue to relax into it, enjoy it. All right, if not, you can slowly lift your left knee up, turn over to your right side, come into a fetal position, and then you can slowly press yourself up to a seat. Thank you all again. I hope it was uh, very healing for you. And, you know, especially during these times, um, we all need yoga. We all need to move. We all need to bring some awareness, some energy, some life, some breath, right? And most importantly, love into, into ourselves so that we can share it with the rest of the world. So again, thank you for joining me. And until again, see you guys next week. Namaste.